Traders, let's go through a short recap of uh, my trading session today. I had a small winner in AMD, it's not a big mover, $328. A nice winner in GOSS, but it's still open in a bit. A loser in IFF, actually two trades in IFF, one a winner and the other one is a loser. I started with a loser, then I had a winner, but not enough to cover my, my first loss. And uh, Tesla went well with $1,900. These are my open positions here. I'm still short 500 shares in GOSS and I'm down 86 bucks right now. IFF, I'm up a bit, just 100 shares and AMD riding with 100 shares. So I've got still $22 riding here. So a bit over $1,800 for Monday. That is quite good. Let's go through some of, some of the trades. And again, I'm happy to be green. Uh, it's not a huge day. It's nothing significant, but being green is good. And of course, on a Monday morning where I did not have a lot of opportunities today, I have to say, then I'm quite happy. So first one which worked well was Tesla and that was posted in the trading room over $366. And look at this beautiful trade. Started with a gap up. The stock is up now 5%. Of course, it started with like two and a half or so. Moved up, pulled back. Just a very clear reversal pattern. Look at the 366 area here. There's nothing to say. I mean, just worked amazingly well. So Tesla was my best trade today. Uh, then had uh, GOSS for short. Now that's a kind of uh, my bread and butter trades where I shorted this one. I posted it in the room under 17. So GOSS is down now 36%. So it's very clear gap and go trade. And usually when stock like that starts, they start with a gap down, they move out, then we take out the buyers, then it comes down, posted it for short under 17. Why? Because stocks like this usually fail. And then it came down, beautiful trade, then posted it under 16, initially worked out nice, I needed another 10 cents or so, did not get it. And now I'm still struggling with a small size. And again, a small size that will not risk the trade. We also had uh, IFF, I had uh, two trades as I mentioned earlier in IFF. IFF started down 7% and again the same kind of trades I take but they don't always work out. Under 125.40, that's the one I posted in IFF which was right over here. And that was an okay trade, it looked good but it spiked up, I think it, it was actually short here, yeah. And then it spiked up, took me out. So it was not really a spike, it's just a slow move higher and just took me out at the point where I thought it's probably going to continue higher. I was wrong, it came down. Second trade was under 125, which was quite beautiful over here. Gave us enough uh, for a partial and then, um, and then, well, I don't know if it's going to continue now or not, but uh, gave enough. So that was a nice trade. The second trade was posted here in the room. I just followed it. Uh, followed it. That was nice. So we also had uh, AMD for long. AMD is not a big mover. It was posted over 46.16. Sorry, 42.16. 42.16, which was right over here. A move to a new high. Now, I have to say, I'm quite surprised that it moved as much as it did. Again, it's usually not a very big mover, but that was a nice trade over 46.16. Took my partial at the first pullback sign somewhere over there. So that was a very nice trade and still riding 100 shares. So more winners than losers. I've got um, four green trades. Here they are. Sorry. Four green trades. Here they are which actually are a bit more because I had one more trade in GOSS and one more trade in IFF. So I could add that, sorry, three green trades. So I could add another winner here, four winners, two losers. That would be it. So that's a good start for Monday. The market is moving up, up like 1.1% uh, Nasdaq, S&P is up too. I want to thank you for being here with me today. Really appreciate it. And... Um, We'll see you all tomorrow. So thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well too. And those of you on YouTube, if you did not yet give us a thumb up, that would help our channel very much. So we'll appreciate if you could. Thank you again. Thank you too for joining us. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So bye traders. Thank you for watching our video. 
Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.